boy, this one's going to hurt. You all, welcome back to the Movie Commentary Podcast. It's the podcast in which we watch movies and we talk about movies. And the reason that I say that is because a friend of mine has requested that I watch the movie Insidious for the month of October. And because I am trying to maybe brand, trying to branch out and watch new movies with this podcast, um, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to watch Insidious. Um, and also the reason that it's going to hurt is because I am also in a house by myself right now. Um, and I also am very, I'm also very deathly scared of, of horror movies. Not deathly scared, but I, I generally try not to, I try to try to stay away from those. Um, in a more serious note, um, this one's going to be, a, this episode might sound a little bit differently than previous episodes, um, you know, a lot of times when I talk, when I do this podcast, I talk about you know behind the scenes history, or say if it's based on like a true story, I'll, I'll try and maybe say something about that. But I, not gonna lie, I didn't really do a whole lot of research for Insidious. I mean, I found a little bit of stuff for it, which I thought was interesting, but not a whole lot that I thought was um, you know worthy of a podcast. And also mainly because I've I've been putting this off. I know this is this episode's probably going to come out probably on a on this recording this on a Monday, probably either later tonight or um maybe even not tomorrow on Tuesday. Um but I so I don't have a whole lot of behind the scenes stuff. So basically what what I'm gonna do is and also I, I've I've never seen this movie before. I have never watched Insidious. I, I watched the other day when I was um kinda looking at it, um doing some like just just kinda scouting it out for the first like couple minutes or whatnot. Um, I didn't really, I, I just watched like the first maybe like five or so minutes of it, but I haven't really sat down and watched much of it, much else of it. So basically what this is going to be more like is a, um, kind of like a mystery science theater, theater 3000, which if people that have never watched that before, it's essentially just, oh, you have a whole bunch of guys just kind of sitting at a movie, just making fun of it. I probably won't make fun of it. I'll probably just make fun of more of myself of how scared I am, but, um, who knows? Um, I think I've been talking for way too long. So, again, this one a little bit differently. Um, probably just going to try and see if I can make fun of the movie or try to just make fun of how, how I'm scared or just make fun of anything that I can see. So let us go ahead and start it up. And again, I, 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 I never have watched this movie before. I mean, except for the first, like, 20 or so minutes. So I'm probably going to just kind of make notes of what the heck is going on and all this kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. So, and the film starts off with like these red, like title card, like these red, like title card thingies. So it, it, you definitely sets the stage for something pretty horrifying. So who knows? And I always love, they have like a million like production companies at the beginning of a film that they got a credit. So it's always kind of fun. A James Wan film. Now, James Wan, I do believe, was the director of the first Saw film. Cause, and it's kind of funny because James Wan directed this film. And, he, and also the writer of this film is a man named Lee Wanell. And these are actually both the guys that were um, the two guys behind the Saw, the, um, the first Saw film. I don't... Th again, I, I haven't seen Saw and I don't really have any... Um, intentions of doing so to be quite honest with you and so we are kind of panning and we pan towards a lava lamp there kind of a fire hazard and now we are panning over to a dark corner of the room panning over panning over some panning shots into a dark corner some steady cam work There's a fa there's like an old there's like a face with a candle by it and then cuts the black and then the insidious title card plays it now and I think it plays like a and to try to further not scare myself I'm actually playing with the sound off I know people you might call me like a you know like a sissy or something like that I don't care I'm at a house by myself I'm trying to get this I'm trying to muscle through this pot muscle through this podcast so make fun of me all you want I don't really care so. So yeah, no, this is really interesting. We're getting, um, and, I, and again, I've, I've seen this part of the movie, but we're getting the, um, 
we're getting the a lot of the actors before the the cast before in the title cards before the movie starts. Um, Barbara Hershey, you know, Barbara Hershey, she was in a uh, Hoosiers. She played. She was uh, the one of the she was in Hoosiers with Gene Hackman, nineteen eighty six movie. So kind of a, I think that adds a little bit of a you know, um, you know, like uh, you know, like some prestige you know to the movie or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so we're just watching now, watching. You know, you don't. This is something actually kind of interesting because like, there, this is all all kinds of credits before the movie um, is starting. It's it's all before. It's like you know, credits. It's the pre pre movie credits, which in today's age of movie, you don't really see a whole lot anymore. In fact, it's really rare that you even see a title card before the movie actually nowadays. So, but. Again, it's just kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, it's something you saw a lot back in the day, but nowadays you just, just not something you really see a whole lot. So, so yeah, these title cards, and they, and they, I do remember watching this for the first time. They just keep going on and on and on. Yeah. So, so now I do admit, like the the little that I've heard about this movie, I got I've gotten some Poltergeist. Um, oh, Jason Blum direct this. I mean, he's a part of every horror film nowadays, it seems like. He's come like the Disney of horror films. He's like, you know, just gonna, he's gonna, you know, just make a monopoly on Disney, on like horror films nowadays. But, um, I remember like, I got some like Poltergeist kind of like vibes when I was hearing about this story. Now, I've actually, I've never seen Poltergeist before. That is actually one of the, some of the horror movies that I'd actually kind of want to see, you know, Poltergeist. Now, I'm not big on horror films. I don't really like them that much. The only, literally, I kid you not, the only horror films that I've ever seen in my life are The Shining by Stanley Kubrick. Um, I've seen Halloween. I've seen Halloween. The night, um, Halloween, both um, Halloween two, the 2018 Halloween film. Some might consider Doctor Sleep the sequel to The Shining that just came out maybe like a, a, a year ago, but um, a horror film. I didn't think it was ter- that terribly scary, but you know. Um, Night of the Living Dead. I've also seen that one. However, again, that one's not really that scary. Um, and I watched Hereditary with my with um my family, which. It's a great um, film to watch if you're <laughs> if you're watching it with family. I kid you not, my sister wanted us to watch that film, so we watched it together. So, and but other than that, I do not. I try not to touch horror films. I try to stay away from horror films. I do not like them a whole lot. Um, you know, I mean, I I I haven't seen uh, Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, I don't think I could. Not gonna lie, I don't really think I would be able to handle those movies. <laughs> so it looks like um, a woman in PJs, which I do admit I've never seen it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm, I've never seen a um, a full grown person wearing PJs like that, especially matching PJs with her son, which is kind of odd. I feel like it's like, which is kind of weird actually. So. Alright. So yeah, it looks like they're just kind of looking at a, at a at an old picture album right now. I'll tell you what, this kid has like just classic, just, you know, kid's bowl haircut, you know, like the Beatles style haircut. Yeah, you know. I think I, no, I, I, I don't think I had that when I was a, well, I think I partially had that when I was a kid, but I also try to grow it out a little bit. You know, a little bit more, which I don't like the bowl haircut at all. So, so we're just watching. So, yeah, they're just going through the picture book. And I do believe this is Rose Byrne playing Renee, uh, Renee Lambert. So, I think she's the mom of um, Dalton Lambert, who's. Um, her who is you know who they're looking at the pictures with right now so um yeah so we're just looking at that 
they're like, oh, they're, you know, you know, looks like a little brother and big brother kind of play fighting, which is kind of nice. And then they're just talking. And she hands him a, why'd she hand him a, she handed him a mug to, I think, calm him down or some shit like, something like that. I don't know. And the guy just rushing, and the guy, and the dad, Josh, Josh Lambert, brushing his teeth, you know, looking at himself in the mirror, you know, trying to get the quaff right in his hair. I don't know. Oh, he just pulled out a gray hair. Oh my gosh, he's getting old. Yep, he's getting old, and you didn't even tie that tie, good sir. And then apparently they're like, what the heck is his family? I mean, they're eating cereal off the floor out of a coffee mug. That's weird. That's a weird fan. That's the greenest looking apple I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and he just ate a, it's a wax apple. Gosh, I knew that it was fake. Yeah, that was the fakest looking apple. The guy just ate an apple. The guy just took a bite out of a wax apple, so I knew it was the fakest looking apple that I've seen in my life. Oh, my goodness. So she just put these, so earlier she put books on the shelf, and now the books are on the floor. Oh, my gosh, the house is haunted. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Oh wow! Look, and the husband I, I I thought strangely looked like Michael Keaton for a second, but he kind of has that Michael Keaton looking kind of haunted face or something like that. So, and apparently, like the the mom just asked, "Hey, can you pick the boys up from school?" I'm like, "Nah." And then she's like, "Why not?" It's like, "Oh, I got a PTA meeting." I'm like, "Wow, what a deadbeat dad!" Even though he's technically still around, but you know. <laughs> oh, and she's playing the piano. How about that? How about that? Playing the good old piano. I think we used to have a piano in our house. I think... No, I think we got rid of the piano. I don't know. I've never really been much for the piano, honestly. Yeah, you can obviously tell. Like, I'm pretty sure people that are listening to now, they're pretty sure by now you're like, what the heck? Why is he He's just rambling on and on? But, you know, at this time, you know, just kind of, you know, yeah, something like that. Oh dear, the baby's crying. There's a little baby Callie. She's crying now. So, oh, that's sad. Do 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 do. Just kind of look. Kind of looking. Around. Hey, at least they were using a real baby instead of the fake baby they used in American Sniper. You know, that's something that's you know something to hold hold your head up high. So yeah, no, she's looking around, looking around. Probably gonna get a jump scare here. Probably gonna get some kind of jump scare. Probably not. Who knows? I mean, looks like she's going upstairs. Looks like to the attic, which is one of the worst decisions you can make. And obviously, it looks like a horror. Ha- it looks like a house of horrors up in the attic. But you know, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it look like that? So, of course, it's a horror film. You know that kind of thing. Oh, and the lights are burned out. And the lights are burned out. Of course, the lights are burned out. Why wouldn't the lights be? Oh, never mind. It actually, they actually turned on. Spoke a little too soon there. Actually, I think you saw that the house was trying to. You know, the house was trying to. Or something like that. I I don't know what I was trying to say there. She was trying to climb up a ladder, and I think the one of the, the the legs broke. So I think it was like, oh, the house is trying to kill her. You know, the house is sentient. Oh my gosh. Oh, night scene. Here we go. We got that went turning to night scene. Uh oh, watch out. Oh my goodness. Oh, this dad. Look at that. Look at this dad right here. He's playing with a shark. Why is he playing with a shark? I think his dad like brought home home like a toy with like a shark and like some kind of sword or something like that. You know, you should probably put the shark in the water, Dalton. You know, it's kind of 
You know, it's kind of a fish. You know, fishes go in water. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at that! The door just the door just opened. The door just opened without anybody opening it. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Oh my gosh! I'm scared. That's really scary now. Look at that! Oh dear! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at this! Yep, look at it. Look at this. I'm sorry. Kind of got get a little distracted here. Anyway, Dalton's up in the attic right now. He's looking around and obviously, you know, obviously something's going to happen. No, he's climbing up the ladder, climbing up the ladder. I think he's trying to turn the light on. Oh, and the and of course he's too. No, man. What the? I. I'm 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 sorry. I just saw it. there was a the father. <laughs> I don't even know if I want, I'm not even going to say it, but the dad was just doing something to her to his daughter, to his baby daughter that I was a little bit uh about. Oh, something's creaking in the attic. Dalton looks over. He looks over. Something's happening. Oh dear, something's happening. Dalton, honey, we're, oh dear, something's happening, oh, she's running upstairs, she's running upstairs, uh-oh, he just screamed, uh-oh, something happened in the attic, oh dear, this is scary, oh my goodness, climbing up the ladder, yeah, if you're climbing up the ladder and you hear something splatter, haha. <laughs> So yeah, no, apparently he took a fall in the attic, and also he apparently hit his head, so there you go. Honey, you can't, yeah, yeah. Be careful, I think so. You were just doing a little exploring, oh my gosh, yeah, just like every kid. Renee's sheet music. Okay, so no more exploring. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So me a superhero, you're not invincible, you gotta be careful. Yeah, he's putting him to bed. Yeah, you gotta be careful. He's got elephants on the sheets. Why do they have elephants on their sheets and on their PJs? This family's weird. Like they had like PJs earlier in the film that was kind of something like that, so So yeah, just a wife and them talking to, they're just talking now, so. So talking, talking in the bed, and the wife and the, the wife and the husband, and I want things to be different in this house. What was different in your, what was bad in your last house? Apparently there's some baggage with this family that we don't know about. The art of exposition, the art of exposition, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a husband! Work letting her letting her work on his letting her work on her music. That is so that is awesome. Although it's kind of weird. I mean, this movie's like majority. The one thing I know about this the, the movie's majority, um, um, you know, stringed instrument. Um, 
Um, yeah, it's like a stringed instrument kind of, you know, vibe with the, with them, but, um, yeah, something like that. No, no, wait, what was I trying to say? No, it's stringed instrument orchestra for the, for the film score. But then she also plays piano. But I think there might be a little bit of piano in there as well. Oh, the faucet is dripping. So we got some some night scenes here. And then, oh, that's some good lighting for your baby to have. It's like red, like a red flower light. You know, it makes it all red and stuff. So, Oh, we're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in shot here. Yeah, what are we... We're just zooming into blackness, essentially. Apparently, there might be something back there, but it's just dark right now. And it's so dark, you can't even, you can't see anything, so... Alright, alright, alright. So, now, oh, now it's morning time, and Josh is going to wake up his son, Dalton. Who is really sleeping, so. And apparently I think he's in a coma now. But, well, of course, we'll learn that in just a second here. <laughs> oh, no, I wonder how that would work. Like, you know, you, you go, like, you know, wake up your son. It's like, hey, wake up. And he's not waking up. And then, like, he just doesn't do anything and then you start like shaking him i wonder if you just like start like just violently shaking him and you know all that kind of stuff no now we're at a doctor's now we're at the doctor's so yeah technically yes he's in a coma he doesn't react to stimuli he has no sleep wake cycle that's odd man this guy that this actor that plays josh he looks like a mix between he looks like if jai courtney and michael keaton had a baby honestly god Guy, he looks like a Mike. Guy, he looks like a Michael Keaton wannabe. He looks like a Michael. Like, he, guy is giving me such Michael Keaton vibes. I just hope that he. I, just, I wonder if he's ever heard that before in real life. I don't know. Wow. How about that? The ECGs beeping. Blah blah blah. All this kind of stuff. Oh, three months later. Oof, man, I always hate time cut. The time title cards. Oh my goodness. They're always kind of like, uh, they're always like, ugh, time. You know, three months later. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But um, yeah. Okay, now they're like trying to hook up some kind of like machine, Dalton now or something like that. And they, you need to lubricate the end of the tube. Don't say lubricate. Just put, just say put the thing on it. Like say put like the, say put this on it. Or don't just say lubricate. Come on, lady. Oh my gosh. I know my head just went into the gutter for that split second, but come on now. I know this is probably going to be the worst or either the, the best received podcast that I've ever put out or the worst received podcast I've ever put out. Of course, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of feedback from my podcast. I mean, I've gotten some people that say, oh, I like it. And then some people are like, oh, I'll watch it better than that. And I've gotten some other people that have kind of commented on YouTube. Thank you for those people that comment on YouTube, by the way. I appreciate it, actually. I remember I had, that, I had one guy that commented. He wanted he wanted to put Jaw, he wanted me to do one of Jaws. And I was planning on doing it in a, in a second. So, yeah. Okay, so this one, there's something going on on the baby monitor, and noises on the baby monitor, noises on the baby monitor. I think that's like some kind of like demon's going to like be like, oh, rip, 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 on the monitor or something like that, so. Which in horror films, I will admit, oh, oh dear, there's some, nothing you can do on the male, what can't they do on male voice on the baby monitor? I don't know. Also, they have a grandfather clock. They have a clock that's like one of those like old-fashioned clocks. I remember my grand. I remember I would when I would always stay at my grandparents' house. They had a 
they had a clock like that and it, and it chimed every single hour and I just n- I couldn't sleep because I just was scared to death of that clock because it would like you know it, like it hit like 3 a.m. it'd be like ding ding I'm like y'all that clock is terrifying Why aren't you running upstairs and trying to go help your baby out, lady? Come on. If there's something going on with the baby monitor, there's probably somebody, like, in the dang room. Or maybe not. Maybe, like, a ghost or something like that. I don't know. God, you're just, like, standing there. Just like, ugh, something going on on the baby monitor. Well, shoot. No, no crap, lady. Yeah. Open the closet, something's gonna jump out. Nah, she's just looking in a closet. Just looking in the closet. What's she doing here? She's like going through her son's toys and stuff like that. Her other son. She had like this family has um I think this this family has like two sons, like two little boys and a daughter and a, and a little daughter. So, can you really now? Oh wow! Now his now his bed has like his his little brother's bed because Dalton's the big brother, and his little brother's bed has like dinosaurs on him. And apparently, like having dinosaurs is you know. You know, apparently dinosaurs and elephants are all, are all the rage back in 2011, so. I don't, oh my gosh, I don't like when he walks around at night. What the heck? That is terrifying as hell heck right there. Uh oh, something's getting up. Oh dear. Dalton's getting out of his bed. This is I'm not gonna lie, I'd be going boom boom in my pants if I had seen that. If I was this kid right here. Yeah, he's like giving me like Michael Myers vibes. He's just kinda standing at the Oh, no, that's Dalton. No, my goodness. What the heck? Something thudding, something's going on. He's doing what every kid does when something... He's doing what every kid does when they're scared. They go into their bed and they just like kind of hide and all that kind of stuff, so... Just inter- yeah, it was just interference there, Josh. Yeah, I don't know. It sounded so clear. Yeah, it's probably. A, I think it was probably a, a human voice. You know, uh, lady. I don't know. So somebody's banging at the door. What the hell can that be? Is it probably your child? God, these are more like the worst parents in the world. Ugh, somebody's banging at the door. Who could that be? Yeah, probably our child. Oh, no, somebody's... Oh, the front door. Oh, my bad. Okay. I mean, they're still kind of... I don't know. And you don't have a bat with you? Come on, bro. They could be like a home invader right now. Don't look at the window. They're going to shoot you. Come on, man. Oh, and I think the the outside light just burned out. Hmm, it appears he's looking outside and nobody is 
there. Oh, it looks like they ding dong. They look not ding dong ditched because they knocked on the door. It looks like they knock knock ditched them or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm I, I he's saying hello out into the aren't out into the darkness. Although I've been kind of, I've been guilty of that myself. So there you go. Beeps. Is it like a home security system that he's turning on? Yeah, no, those things are kind of unreliable, so. Okay, now you go check on your daughter when she's getting, when there's something going on with the baby monitor. Come on now. Oh, that was terrifying for quite a, for a second there. No, and she saw it. No, I mean, I, I, no, lady, you're not crazy. I saw it. There was somebody standing right by Callie there, so. No, oh, now the alarm's blaring off. But, and the door's wide open. That's terrifying. No, oh, that's weird. Yeah, it looks like somebody like knocked the uh knocked the door knocked the, the they had like one of those like latch locks and they kinda knocked it off, it looks like. Hello, is there somebody in the house? Is there somebody in the house? Nobody no why are you walking into the darkness, dude? That's just You know, you know, horror films. I wonder if there's like a horror film where like the, the act where like the main characters actually make like Smart choices, and yet they still get killed off because, you know, it's funny like that. Was he breathing heavily like Michael Myers? Again, I don't have the sound on for this film because I'd be kind of boom, going boom, boom in my pants if they were, but I, um, but they have, like, subtitles on, so I'm kind of reading the subtitles right now. I love it, like a fire poker. He's just going to, like, fire... I mean, what, is he just going to, like, poke their eyes out or something like that? God bless it. Dude, just rip that alarm off, man. Come on. Literally just yank it off. Oh, it's like one of those like scary establishing shots. It's like, oh, something, uh, something bad's happening. Oh, this guy's a teacher. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh. Wow, he looks really interested to say bye to his students. That's awesome. Wow, so he's got a... No, oh, I have to stay late in grade tests. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's the, that's 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 right. That's that that's right. Although as a future teacher myself, I can understand that plight. Oh, something's happening in these scenes here. What's going on, Josh? What, 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 what's happening? And now they're sleeping and sleeping and the car horn's honking and something's sleeping in this house. More to establish shots of these houses and they're kind of scary and apparently Dalton's not waking up and he's not responding and he's, you have to give it time, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 and Suddenly start making noises, you know, and the one thing, they're like sleeping and they're like, deep. Like, do I be like, nah, or something like that? They don't know what to do with him. Well, I don't know what to do with him either, so I'd, they've just given up. Maybe like the actors in this, well, no, maybe not the actors in this movie, but maybe in the sequels. Well, the universe picked a fight with the wrong chick. How about that?
Aw, oh, this nurse looks really nice, and then this mom looks so sad. That's just sad. Come on, Dalton, wake up. I wonder if she just, like, slaps him in the face, you know, he wakes up. And apparently she's wearing a key necklace. That's kind of weird. Oh, dear. There's blood on the sheets. There's blood down there. What the heck? Although it doesn't look like it came from him. Ooh, it's a handprint. Oh, that'd be terrifying if I had seen that in real life. It's a bloody handprint in the in the in the in the bed sheets there. That's actually just horrifying, to be quite honest with you. Dude, how late are you staying? Nobody stays till like eight eight o'clock as at the school. Okay, maybe six, but not eight at night. I mean, you do not have that many tests to grade. Come on, it doesn't take you that long to grade tests. Seriously, I've spent a whole. I mean, I have spent a whole day grading tests before, but come on, it doesn't take an. Ex uh, but I'm. Then it take an experienced teacher to do that. So. Yeah, and on this, apparently she's asking him, like, why are you staying late at the school? Why are you staying late at the school? And, oh my gosh. And, you know, he's like, oh, I'm grading tests and blah, 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 that kind of stuff. I'm like, dude, you don't take until 10.30 grading tests. I'm, there's something wrong with this place. It's like a sickness. Ever since we've moved in, everything everything's just gone wrong. And this and that and blah and blah. Dude, do you think this house is haunted? Eh, I don't know. I don't think so, but... Ooh, you can... Oh, that's terrifying. You feel eyes on you? Good Lord. Where are you? Yeah, oh, uh, man. Why, wow, I just... I don't avoid stressful dish situations. I'm just dealing it with in my own effing way. Yep, that's sounds like to me you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid it. You're not doing a good job, but you're trying to, good sir. Deal with this, and there's a bloody there's a bloody handprint on the sheets there. And now they're sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping on the couch. Miss, he must be really in the doghouse with his wife. And that same scene again that he was kind of doing flashbacks to. And now there's some red lights and shot of the house. Shot of Dalton kind of sleeping. Shot of the outside, creaking, something creaking, I'm not going to lie, this is not good, and, oh, the heck, she just screamed, woke up for no reason, it's 1.53 in the morning, lady, come on now, what are you doing, Yeah, apparently something woke her up. I don't know what, but and that was just downright terrifying. There was some movement outside the outside the window there. Yep, now she sees it. There you go. Way to be observant of your surroundings, lady. the heck it's like the heck's going on this is like some up 
the heck? Now there's just like some random guy that's just kind of in their house, you know? Don't you dare not believe me. I don't think he's gonna... I don't think he's gonna believe you, lady. Well, you want to leave this house and yet you've actually... You want to leave this house and yet after all the down... After the down payment that you just put on it? Come on, man. Looks like they're now leaving it. Oh, they got a Penske truck that they're renting. That's awesome. No, no, I think that's Josh's mom now. Which that yeah, that is Barbara Hershey. Alright, look at that. Again, I've seen John again, I've seen Barbara Hurt again Barbara Hershey. She was in Hoosiers, the movie she was in Hoosiers with Gene Hackman, the basketball high school basketball movie. You know, I get a feeling from the way that I, I, I that she's talking that they apparently I think this family has had um I think this family has had some, uh, you know, issues in the past with, like, you know, be getting scared by some stuff. So, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, something like that. I don't know. Ooh, they got a record player. That's cool. See, I think the thing is, like, if this family is, like, if they move to another house and then, you know, there's still some stuff happening, then I think it's actually more the family and then not the not the house itself, so. Oh, look at that. The kid just made a mess on his bed. Now he's kind of, mom's got to wipe it off. Seriously, what are you doing eating chips in your bed, man? Although I've done the same thing myself, so I can't be talking very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Ooh, nice long take scene right here. You know, just you know, going about the house and you know everyday kind of everyday living that kind of thing. So, ooh, taking out the trash. That's something I wanted to see in this film. I wonder what the direction is in that. It's like, oh, you need to, and what you're doing is you're taking up the trash and you're tying it there. So, tiptoe through the window by the window. That's where I'll be. Blah blah blah. I think something's singing there. And she has almost every single window open. I don't think that's something that should be going on. And apparently, oh, now she noticed something. What the heck? Something? Somebody's dancing in the house there. Oh, now they're not. See, again, like, if there's somebody, like, Dan if there's, like, something, like, going on in the house, in this new house, after you just moved in, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's, you know, now, like, a guy get yourselves checked out by a family or something like that. Oh, and the door closed. That's terrifying. Yeah, that. Yeah, that door just closed. Child chuckling, what the heck does that mean? Oh dear, this is not good. This is terrifying. Lady, don't walk back. Oh dear. I don't think this is going to end well. Doesn't think it's going to end well. Not good at all. What the heck? That's weird. So, no, man, I think they have a quilt of cactuses now. A quilt of cacti. 
something on the rocking horse, on the rocking horse. Uh, they're going to pull back the, the door, and there's going to be something there. No, there's nothing there. Oh, the door just flew open again. Oh, dear. Man, this is not... Oh, man, this would be terrifying if this is in real life. Yeah, something's going on here. Something's going on. It's terrifying. What the heck is that? Is that like a golf club or something like that? That's What, are you going to club him to death or something like that? It's probably like plastic. It doesn't even hurt. What the heck? Some kid just knocked out. Some kid just knocked out of the thing there. And that, like, he, there was like she, actually, she was like checking the bottom of the. She was like checking the bottom of the thing, and like some kid just like just burst out of the cabinet above there. So that's kind of terrifying. Good Lord. This is Liam Martin. He's actually a very old friend of mine. And then that's Barbara Hershey, so. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Josh is home early now, so that's funny, so. I thought it was a little boy. It followed in. I followed it into Dalton. Oh my gosh! It wasn't a child. It sure looked like a child. Wow! And just classic. Just the husband just being an asshole here. I mean, come on, man. I came today because last night I had a dream about this place. Y'all, I think you just need to, like, maybe pack up and leave, you know, earlier than that, you know? Like, something, I don't know. Ooh, going down the hall, going down the hall, looking into a room, went into your bedroom, but you were both asleep. That's terrifying. I knew I was asleep in the dream. You were asleep, but you're still looking. I don't think that makes any kind of sense, lady. In the house. Yeah, we're still not getting a good look. We're about, what, 40 minutes into this film, and we don't even know, like, what the what's terrifying everybody. Although we still have about an hour left, so, I mean... It was standing in the corner. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That'd be, if I had a dream like this, I'd be terrified. I can still hear that voice creaky. Oh, dear. There was something behind him. That was just downright terrifying. Oh, my gosh. It was like that red guy behind Josh there. Ooh, shaky cam. Shaky, shaky, shaky cam. And they're trying to open the door, but it looks like the door won't open, so... Oh dear. Somebody's just completely just destroyed this room. Please help him, please. Okay, now we're starting to get good. Now it's starting to really get terrifying. Oh, there's the, oh, there's the bloody handprint in there. 
There's the bloody handprint on their bed. Oh, jeez, now this family really is messed up. Specs and Tucker for... Oh, my gosh, these guys look like the two... God, these guys look like, you know, Ghostbusters wannabes, you know? And why is the guy eating a Hot Pocket? I'm like, oh, man, I hope it's not pizza-flavored. Or no, no, I actually like the pizza-flavored ones, not ham and cheese. And, of course, the guy named Specs is also wearing glasses, so, you know, guys wearing Specs and wearing glasses. Man, that is just... God, these ghost hunters. Now, you know, okay, the, so these guys, I'm pretty sure are ghost hunters. You know, they're looking for something. Now, I don't want to, like, you know, some of the stuff that ghost hunters do, I mean, I think it could be a stretch. I don't want to say that I don't believe in ghosts and that kind of thing. I think there's a um, very much plausibility that ghosts can be real and, you know, that these ghost hunters, I think, you know, I don't think that they're, um, you know, I don't think that they're, you know, the, the, these guys, I mean, I think, I'm just kind of, um, you know, because they're just comically, they're just such comic nerds. So, I mean, that's just kind of, you know, something like that. But, <clears throat> so yeah, some of these ghost hunters, I mean, they get they get a little, um, It's a tad, it's a, a bit of a stretch for some of them. But then, like, I mean, if you get, I think this is also a bit of, I think these are guys are a bit of a satire on um, on the ghost hunter, you know, genre. And maybe the ghost hunter, like, kind of thing that people have been kind of um, seeing and that kind of stuff. So, who knows? Although I will admit this guy's wearing suspenders, so I mean I'm, I, that's something I'm happy about. So, oh dear, it looks like he heard something. Oh, got a spike on his little meter thing there. Of course, I mean this guy's lost all credibility because he came in wearing a hot pocket. So I can't really he came in eating a hot pocket. My bad. Oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, no. Yeah, they just had like a shining thing, like two people. Just like, like the two sisters at the door kind of thing, so. I think that's Lee Winnell, the one of the... Um, That's Lee Wanell, I think it is Lee Wanell, um, the guy that he wrote, the guy that wrote this film. I think he was also one of the paranormal guys. I think he's the guy that specs. He's wearing the glasses along with the um, the other guy named. I think the guy named Tucker wearing the beard. So. That's kind of odd. This woman knows Josh. That's weird. Radios, toasters. Why are you taking a t thing out of the toaster? That's weird. Oh, man, there's some... Yep, there is something... Oh, man, they're like just... You know, it's just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, I need to do the equipment and this kind of thing. It's like two bumbling idiots over, all over each other. And again, I actually... I mean, I, I respect the work of paranormal investigators. I mean, I think these guys are just, you know... Oh, my bad. I thought I heard something. My bad. I thought it was just, I, it, you know, these guys, I think it's just kind of the, the, um, a parody or maybe just like a, a, um, something on the, um, not a parody, just like a satire of like paranormal investigators because these guys came in, at least from my first impression of them, they came in looking like bumbling idiots, so. And of course, one of them was also, you know, eating a Hot Pocket, so. 
I will still not get over that. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't sound very, you know, pedophilish at all. You're a very handsome boy. Well, actually, I mean, of course, you know, it doesn't, doesn't sound bad. Oh, no, she's going to look up, and there's something there. Is there something up top? The fan. Now, apparently she can see something that they can't. And there's a blood red face. Apparently everything's black. Oh my gosh. They're like two dark holes. He has two he has hooves for feet. Yeah, this you can smell the sulfur coming off their cloven hooves. Long spidery fingernails. Hmm. Apparently he's not there. They turn the lights on and they're not there, so. Alright. I want to know if this, is, if this is what I believe. It might contradict medical. Oh dear. So it's like, yeah, I'm not a doctor, but it's there's basically, this might be a BS theory, but you know what? I mean, it might be something too, so. Oh dear, so your son isn't in a coma. Falling off the ladder had nothing to do with this. His physical body's here. Spiritual body apparently is not. Well, where the heck is the spiritual body at, lady? It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Oh my gosh, your son's haunted. Oh dear lord. Oh my goodness. Size. I like to call them travelers. Oh my gosh. Josh, you look like you want to say something. Are you try are you hiding something, Josh? Is there something that happened? He looks there's like I mean it's kinda like cutting through cutting between him. It's like uh it's like they cut to lady and then they kinda cut to Josh and he's like looking like uh like ooh, something Sounds like something that's happened before, and then, oh, now these two just, you know, just schmucks wearing, men in black wearing, like, black ties and stuff like that. I don't know. They seem a little bit too formal for inve paranormal investigators, so. And to become lost. Something's lost. In a place I call the further. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I get the same reaction from Josh. It's like, what the literal heck, man? Yet it's all around us. Place without time. It's like a dimension with a, uh, what is that, the twilight zone? Like a dimension without time. A dimension without space. Actually, wait, the twilight zone is a dimension of time and space. So, you know, something like that. That's where Dalton is. He's there in the further. Well, how do you get to the fur? Well, how do you get to the further lady? That's what I'm wondering. Slow head nod, and what do they want to like eat his body or something like that? Oh, they're trying to get inside his body because they crave life. Oh, so. But there are other entities who that are who are malevolent that have more insidious. Oh, there's the insidious. Oh my gosh, it's insidious. Oh my gosh, there, there's the. It's like the like one of the things. It's the thing, you know. Ooh, what like, what reason is that? Ooh, the demon's trying to get into Dalton's body because he wants to harm other people. 
The closest of all the entities of getting inside of him. What do you mean the closest? There are entities that just can't walk into the bodies of the living. Anytime they please, they cross from their realm. It takes time and energy. Ooh, the weaker the link gets. Oh my goodness. How can we bring Dalton back? I don't know. There's no way we can bring him back. We're gonna have he's gonna be a, basically a shell of a man or a shell of a boy for I've listened to the dog and pony show. I've seen the drawings. Bring back Dalton. Ing Why is her son still on a coma? Why can't the doctors tell what's wrong? Yeah, Josh, I will admit. I mean... No, oh, wow. Wow, you are... Wow, Josh, man, you are the... Man, he certainly is the. Certainly is the. I don't. I don't and I'm trying to find a PG word for this. Yeah, the, the the butt head, you know, or the the butt face, the butthole, or something like that, you know. Wow, Josh, you are just the worst. Just a douche. Did you go somewhere? No. Yeah, of course he's right there. I mean, he's just an he's just a boy just not waking up. Yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm not, you know, well. Uh-oh. Something just fell off the uh, off the floor there. When did they draw that? When have they drawn? When is he has he been able to get Last night I watched Ooh, that's that's terrifying. Ooh, and then a red door. There's a pony. There's something. Oh, that's a nice family drawing right there. Let's see. Last night, I watched myself sleep. I watched myself sleep. What? Then I flew away. What? Aw, that's a cute drawing of him flying, but also kind of terrifying, so... I will admit, though, like, seeing all these drawings would be a little bit, uh, that that wouldn't be good. Aw, oh, and crying and hugging, and oh dear, we're back at the house again, and it's scary and dark. I'm going to be completely honest with you about the results. If there's no established dialogue, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you. Then, oh dear, that's an old style camera. <laughs> really old style camera. Wow, I love the jump cut editing here. It's like the do 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 kind of stuff, you know. So it's really. I mean, it's kind of like what they did in Saw when they were kind of like you know doing like a lot of that fast paced editing and stuff like that, which is kind of cliche in my eyes, but you know, I don't know. Dim the lights, please. And then turn on another light. 
Oh, why'd you dim the lights if you just did that light then? That's weird. She's like holding her hands up. It's like, I don't know what to do with my hands right now. And then she puts on a gas mask. Why? Why is she putting on a gas mask? Although I like that POV shot inside the gas mask. Whispering, we are calling out to you, Dalton. Tell us you're safe. Tell us where you are. Tell us you're safe. Tell us where you are. It looks like they're putting the camera up behind them there. Answer us now! Can you hear us? They're looking, kind of looking. Josh doesn't look very... Nope, something just happened. Some flash of light just happened. I don't know what, exactly what that was. Who's there? And then we're panning around the table, panning around the table, panning around the table. It's your mother and father. We've been searching for you. We've been searching for you. I know, right? Where are you? Well, he's not in the bed, that's for sure. He hasn't been there for three months. You're going on what you've been saying, obviously. Follow my voice. Follow my voice, Dalton. Follow the sultry sound of my voice. Dalton, why aren't you why aren't you talking anymore? Dalton, apparently he's talking, but I don't know how he's talking. I wonder what the If they hear me, they'll hurt me. Oh my gosh, she's been like She's been like what the heck? She it's like she like puts the mask on and she's like you know the man with fire. What is it? She puts the mask on and then she just and she's like able to talk to him or something like that? How does the what is that? Like an interdimensional gas mask? Like what the heck, man? There is no way out. No way in. No way out. No way in. No way out. Follow my voice. Be quiet. They'll hear you. They won't hear me, Dalton. Follow my voice. Follow the sultry sound of my voice, Dalton. They heard... Oh, dear. They heard you. What the heck? Something's going on. Help! Help! Help me! Help me! Help! Dalton? Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, dear. So, okay. Now we're hurling insults at each other. I know who you are. Oh, some shaking. Oh, dear. Get her out of the mask. Dude, get her out of the mask, man. For God's sakes. Dude, get her out of the mask. What are you doing? Dude, she's convulsing. Get her out of the mask. Come on. Dude, take the mask. What are you guys doing? Just like staring like, oh, we're just going to stare at her. Just like, like, uh, like she's literally like just like convulsing. And then it's like, 
uh, and then she's dead. Up. Oh. oh dear, now he's awake and now he's something's happening. Dalton just kind of came up and just like did a fist slam on them. Oh, he just knocked the table over. I will admit, I don't think this film is good for epilep epile epileptic epileptics. Oh, and there come the ghosts. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that kid just, just bitch slapped him across the room. Oh my gosh. And there's some go. Oh, apparently, I think they've been, I think somebody's been, I think they've been, uh, I don't know, apparently he's giving him like a case of Gene Simmons tongue. Leave this vessel. Leave the little child's body. That's what I'm. Sh that's what I should call about. That's what I should call out to like some kid. I'd be like, you know, leave this vessel. Turn on the light, and then they turn on the light, and then everybody's. They turn on the light, and then you know everybody's gone. So. I'm not gonna lie, that was terrifying. The heck, it's like Specs is like putting, uh, the oh, some like frozen meat on his face. Frame by. Oh my goodness. There's the man with the fire on his face. Look at that. Don't worry, I'll get the door. Hi, Lorraine. Oh my gosh, Mom, what are you doing here? What is it, like, Josh has, like, a history of, like, being haunted or something like that? I feel like there's, like, a history of Josh in the, with this series. I mean, I haven't really, I don't have a whole lot of seri history with this film, but, um, or with this franchise, but, um, or something like that. And the reason I know her so well... Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that Josh had been hunted bef haunted before. They just said that Josh is... They just said that I had to help you out, Josh. And I'm like, I knew it. I knew that Josh had done this before. And again, I haven't seen this movie at all, or I don't know anything about this franchise. So, I'd had, again, that's a complete... I thought I had to do a shot in the dark there, but... It's of pure fear. Oh, and that's where the opening of the f that's where the opening of the film began. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's extremely terrifying. I dismissed your stories. I did this, I did that. I told you to grow up. I didn't know that, you know, you were terrified and then I saw it for myself. My goodness, it looks like there's going to be a picture of some sorts. The heck? Oh, it looks like a... Oh, there definitely is something in the in the in the in the car. Oh, look at the cute dog. There's a cute dog in the picture there. Saw her again. Kind of sitting behind there. And then I see her again. And then I see her again. And then I see her again. 
in each photo, there's an old woman, there's an old lady trying to get after you. She gets closer and closer and closer and closer. Oh, man, she's literally touching his head in that picture. And closer to you. Finally, I was so frightened I found Elise or Elsie or whatever the heck. Hmm, I don't remember any of this. No, I don't remember this. Ooh, we had to suppress your memory. You're still afraid to have your picture... Oh my gosh, you're still afraid to have your picture taken. I advise Lorraine to hide them and stop taking your picture and to let you forget. Who is she? A parasite? She pre be Ooh, dear. So it's a parasite. Huh, I wonder if that's... Huh, I wonder if that could have been the name of this movie. It's called Parasite. I didn't want to make you remember all of this. I do it for the sake of your son. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. He's got to go into the further and go get his son out. Uh-oh, he's going to... Uh-oh, they're saying goodbye. I love yous. Oh, man. Such sadness. Such sorrow. If they realize you are not one of them, they will come for your physical body in this world. Ready? Me yes, I'm ready. All right. Oh, oh, a metronome, an old style metronome. That's actually pretty cool. Close your eyes, Josh, and take a deep breath and relax. Exhales. I love how I love how they with subtitles they have to put like the exhale and all that. They have to. Put like, oh, he's exhaling and inhaling and all that kind of stuff. Listen to the ticking of the metronome. Tick, tick, tick. Focus on the spot in the center of your forehead. Wait, on the center of your forehead? How can he see the center of his forehead? That just doesn't make any sense, lady. A sound man by not advancing myself. What? Stays the further ahead of himself. You know, zooming into Josh, zooming into the metronome. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, opened his eyes. Oh my gosh! What the heck is going on? He stood up and then. Let my voice be your guy. Oh, man, she can see? Man, what kind of powers does she have? Keep a steady stride. Into the further you go. Yeah, it sounds like a... Oh, and then she just disappeared. Ah, I love the, love the mood lighting here. Alright, so Josh is now gone sleepy sleepy in the house and sleepy sleepy in the chair and now he is going to walk out into the further what's called the further Alright, so he's just walking kind of in the darkness with the light on, just walking, walking, looking out into the darkness, not really seeing a whole lot right now. Alright. The heck? Where's where is everything? What 
don't don't let, don't give in to the darkness, Josh. Darkness leads to hate, and hate leads to the dark side. If this was a Star Wars universe, by the way, so so he's just oh, there's something with eyes. Dalton, oh man, there's some. Oh, I think it's Dalton. He just saw his son out there. This kind of gives me like, it's like when a, it's like when Stranger Things when Eleven like kind of does like that blindfolded trick, and he, and like they, the heck, is that like him when he was a little boy? But anyway, like the, the scene gives me like it's like when Eleven like does like the blindfolding thing, and they're like. And, and like it's like uh, like a it, like a thing of darkness, and he's you know, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's like it's like all dark and stuff like that. And then like it and then like she like Eleven can like see like like what other people are doing and that kind of thing. So again, I kind of find that a little. I mean, kind of that's what I'm getting from this vi the vibe of this. Of, of what's going on in this into the further scene here. Hello? I'm also getting some, uh, getting some, uh, hereditary vibes here, kind of, so. So, yeah, he's just walking, and, you know, of course, I wish I probably should have turned the lights up. probably should have done this at night, although I would have been more terrified because, I mean, you really can't see anything in this, in this, um, little scene here. Y'all can see is the light. Oh, and the door's open. The door is open with the darkness going in. That's terrifying. My goodness, I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring, but... Uh oh! Oh, there's a child laughing. There's a child that's laughing there. Oh my goodness! Hello, Dalton. Is that you? I don't know. All right. Again, there's. Whistling going on again. There's just darkness. I can't really see what's going on here in this scene. A lot of darkness and ooh, and there's like some there's like some mist in the in the basement. There's some mist down there. That's interesting. That's cool. All right. Well, shit. What is he like staring at wax figures? They're just like standing there. Oh, that blink is not, that blink is somewhat terrifying. And then the guy's whistling and then, oh, he's wearing like a bow tie and like some, like suspenders. And apparently, I think you got one of the shining twins on the uh, on the couch there. The heck? What's going on in this? What's going on here? All right, something going on. Where's my son? Tell me where my son is. Oh, and the lady just disappeared. Yep, there's a lady sitting in a chair. She just disappeared. Huh, this is not terrifying at all. Yeah, this is just... Yeah, this is great. People are moving around when you can't see them. And, ooh, that's a just a completely terrifying smile right there. That is just completely creepy. Creaking the door. Ooh, looking up. What's going on? Ah! The 
Don't draw attention to yourself. I think he's drawing attention to himself. The door's creaking. The door's creaking. Oh, up into the attic. Yeah, of course. That's where he would have been. I mean, that's where he got, you know, infected and haunted the first time around, so... It's the red door. Go into the red door, man. Go into the red door. That's where your son will be. Oh, dear. Something just hopped out of nowhere and just started attacking him. Dear, and he's getting attacked. He's getting kind of getting his butt kicked right now. Come on, man. Fight back. Beat that guy's butt. Oof. Oh, dear. Something's happening here. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he's getting thrown around like a rag doll. You can beat them. Yeah, you are the one alive there. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Superpowers in the further. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, man, now he's back to sleep. All right. See, now you can go into the into the red door. Open up the door. We'll walk inside. What'll I find? We'll find out. Something like that. No, that's fine. That didn't really rhyme, but... And then the cliche of any old standard horror film, POV Steadicam shots, and then also POV follow shots of Josh. Looks to be the horse that was drawn. It was also the horse in the old film, in the old house there. Hey, it's Dalton. He's crying. Don't be crying. Don't be sad, Dalton. Your dad's here to help you. Aww, that's heartwarming. He just reunited with his son. That's beautiful. Uh oh, wait, what? 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 Tip throw to the tulips by the window. Oh dear. Oh, that's where it goes back to. Ruby, I'm trying to watch a movie here. That's why that's my dog right there. What is that, Freddy Krueger? Looks like a ripoff of Freddy Krueger. Because he got like those long, like just, like, that is Freddy Krueger. What the heck? Because he's like playing like the things and his like, because he's got like the, the, the blades and stuff like that, you know? He's got the blades on his hand, and then he's got the, like, the red face there. He's looking. Dude, why didn't they file, like, copyright claims for against Freddy Krueger? No, like, the, the people that made Freddy Krueger, also known as Wes Craven. Although Wes Craven is dead right now, so. Oh, he's right next to him. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, Josh, fight through it. Oh, they, he's, now he's got the hooves as the feet there. Man, this Freddy Krueger looking guy is really scary. And the house is shaking. Oh, the camera's shaking. It's an earthquake. We're quick, somebody shake the chandelier. Snarl. Mm, snarl, mm, snarl, snarl. Come on, run through. Grab your son and run, Josh. Ooh, cat eyes, nice. He's made contact. Grab the light. Quick, run. 
We gotta run out of this house. Run out of the house. Escape the house, please. We gotta get back to where to the real world. Quick, shaking the camera. Shaking the camera. Shake the camera. Shake the camera. In the darkness of the night, I'm carrying my son with a light and trying to find my way home. I'm scared, Dad. Yeah, I would be too in that situation, kid. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. Oh man, there's people around now. No, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, now he's having a seizure. Wow, this is... This is weird. Although it's not bad. It's actually kind of... Well, not bad, but kind of weird. It's, Oh, dude, they're bursting all the lights in the house. Oh, no, those lights just went out. No, oh, now apparently, not, now she has to call out to him. Now it's up to her. Follow my voice. Josh, follow my voice. The sultry sound of my voice. Although I think if you do that, then you know the, they're gonna start to follow the voice, and then it's a mad dash, mad dash to Josh's hat, mad dash to Josh's place. All right, so they're just calling out. It's kind of dark in the room. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, at least just stand up. That means it's getting serious. Something's happening. Ooh, there's some scraping going on. Some scraping going on. Something's happening. Turning on the lights. Ooh, and then they have a red light. That's cool. Dude, these like guys look terrified. Holy moly. All right, they're exploring, they're exploring. Yeah, something's going on in that house. Yeah, all the power just got knocked out. I wonder if they're going out to check the fuse box. Yeah, the one single light in the house and something's not gonna jump out and scare them. That's 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 something that's gonna happen. Dude, the drawer is out. The drawer has been pulled out. That's that's scary. I wouldn't reach into there, man. You're probably gonna don't reach into the drawer. Don't reach into the don't reach into the drawer. Okay, I think he's trying to close it. Go check on Dalton now. She's yelling out to him. He's like, no. And apparently he's still asleep. Checking the red light. That guy's name is Tucker with the red light. Ooh, they're talking through the baby monitor. It's the baby monitor that's happening. Something's going on. Static on the baby monitor. Static, static, static. More static. And even more static. Ooh, they're crossing over into our world. Oh, dear. Oh, there's something back there. Oh, dear. Yep, close the door now. Don't let him get to Dalton. Shh. 
shine the light on Josh. Come on, man, shine it on Josh. There's a lot of people running around the outside of the house now. A lot of people running in the, in the house. Oh, no, that's a... Oh, no, that's the... Oh, they're, they're in the house now, it looks like. You. Come on, Dalton, go back to your body. Get to your body now. Mm, snarl. And the guy just hops out a note. Guy hops out behind a closet. I'm literally just going to call him like Freddy Krueger 2.0, the, the demon that's trying to get into Dalton's body. Don't let him pull you underneath, Dalton. Come on, kick him. You're the stronger one, Dalton. Oh my gosh, that thing is terrifying. What do you want from me? I'm not scared of you. He's like looking at like the the old lady in the in the thing there. Dude, blow the light out, man. Up oh, and he's Oh, up oh, there she goes. Goodbye. Oh, now what's happening? Oh, the Dalton's going back to his body. Okay. Up oh, up oh, and up oh, he's moving. Oh, Dalton's awake. Yay! Oh my gosh. Yay. Happy ending. Yay. Oh my gosh. Yay. That's awesome. Yay. I'm sorry. I just got it really excited. Oh my gosh, everything's okay. Yay, it's all going to be happy sunshines and rainbows. Look at that. Man, this is such a happy ending. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're oh my gosh. Such happiness. Look at the smiles. And then it's faded to black. Dude, I got some amazing shots. We're going to write a book. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, you stooges. They will be important. Of course they'll be important. Picture's worth a thousand words. And apparently Dalton's just scraping down that, that, that spaghetti, so... No, I didn't. You've been there before, remember? Well, let's hope I forget again. Haha, -ha, yes. Uh oh. Something's gonna happen. All right, sigh. Yeah, I think Elise, I think Elise or Elsie or whatever, however she. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear, man, she just, she just took a picture of him and she's, she's strangling her to death. Why? 
Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Oh, yeah, it looks like Josh is killing her now. Man, man, I thought it was going to be a happy ending, and then, well, of course, it's a horror film. It can't be a happy ending. It looks like she's going to go check on Elise, or Elsie, uh, Elise. I think it's Elise. Dude, that is a horrifying picture of... That is a dude, that is a horrifying like image of her being like you know j dead like that. I'm trying to find Josh, trying to find Josh. Who knows? Nobody knows right now. I'm trying to find Josh. It... What the heck? Oh, they took the camera there. Because I know she was trying to take a picture of him. Oh dear! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that psycho effect or whatever effect that is. Look at that effect right there. No, that was the vertigo effect. My bad. The heck? Nope. And sh something apparently got to Josh. And apparently the movie's over now. Wow, okay. That's interesting. I wonder what happened in that ending there. That was weird. And apparently, like, Elise, like, took a picture of Josh, and, you know, apparently you can, like, see, like, the... You know, you can see, you know, what's, like, what's going on in the... In the, in the, in the foreground or something like that, and then they, uh... And then, you know, apparently there was something that just got a hold of Josh and just, you know, killed uh, Elise there, so. All right, well, that's an interesting movie, I will admit. Um, all right. Uh, um, well, that was something, I will admit, I probably would have had a little bit better reaction had I actually turned the sound on, but again, I... I don't think I could have done that, honestly. I don't think I would have been able to handle that. I will admit, I mean, it was a bit... Um, what do I think about it? I mean, I think it's pretty solidly done, actually. I mean, it was... Um, it's just kind of the... You know, I mean, I think it's a solidly done movie. I mean, in... And then I don't really have much else to say about it, honestly. I mean, it's just kind of. I mean, of course, I kind of watched it with it here with the, with the um, the idea of just making fun of it, or you know, just kind of talking about it during while I was doing it. Um, but, but shoot, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, very much. I mean, and I, and I haven't seen again. I haven't seen Poltergeist, but I definitely can see the the Poltergeist themes, and I mean. And I will admit, I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I'll see a video about somebody else making this point, but I'm pretty sure that that little lipstick demon that was trying to get into um, Dalton's body, I'm pretty sure that was a, I'm pretty sure that looked like Freddy Krueger. That looked a lot like Freddy Krueger's there, so. So, Yeah. We're just doing the same, just the credits here. So, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about it. Um, I know this was kind of a bit of a different, um, you know, podcast than what I've done before. I mean, I usually try to, I like to, I usually try to talk about the, the, um, um, the film and, and that kind of, like, I like to talk about the, uh, like the behind the scenes, but you know, I really want a whole lot to talk about. I feel like with this movie on that regard. So, um, but I will admit, I mean, it, it, it um, as a horror film, I mean, if I had watched the, if I had watched it with the light, with the sound on, I probably would have been terrified. Of course, I'm also terrified by a lot of things. So, yeah. Um, so I would say that's, about it, I think they have a, there's a scene here with the, um, 
there's a scene here of somebody blowing the candle out from what I've read. So at the end of the credits, so we're getting to the end of the credits. Also, the one thing with the with the credits at the beginning of the film, you don't really have to show like the director or like the or any of the other things. Oh man, the oh yeah, showed the 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 old woman that possessed Josh just blew the candle out. So and that's not a that's not scary at all. So um. Yeah, okay, I guess that's where I'm going to leave it off at. Uh, film is over. Um, thank you, Brooke, for making me watch that. Um, that was truly terrifying. Um, even without the sound on, I'm still going to probably have nightmares about that. So, um, Anyway, and thank you all for, uh, thank you all for listening um, to the Movie Commentary Podcast. Um, this upcoming week, I'm going to be doing a commentary on George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead, so I'll give you a bit of a preview. So basically a preview for the next couple of weeks, the last two weeks of uh, October, I'm going to be doing uh, George Romero's Night of the Living Dead um, next weekend, and then the following, um, and then the following week after that, which should be uh, Halloween weekend, actually, October 31st, I'm actually going to do um, John Carpenter's Halloween, which I would say is probably one of my... Um, I'd say probably other than The Shining, probably one of my favorite horror movies, but of course I don't really watch a whole lot of horror to be honest with you. So, um, Thank you all. Uh, stay spooky out there. Um, again, have yourselves a good Halloween season. Um, stay, yeah, stay spooky out there. Thank you all for listening, and I will see you on the flip side.